y'all welcome back to my channel i'm gonna be starting off my wind down slash evening routine with spraying my hair with some dry shampoo i just don't have it in me right now to do my full wash wash excuse me wash routine because it's been a stressful day and i just want to get to the chill part today was my first day back at work after being gone for a week and some change and there was a lot going on you know typical monday things but what I really wanted to talk about in this video with you all today is just the feeling of getting back from being on vacation and having this urge to jump back into all of your routines and really just knock things out and just like running things full speed. That's kind of the feeling that I have right now. So what I've been doing is making lists and just small, I guess, like journal entries of things that I want to do, um, setting goals and deadlines and dates for those goals and thinking and brainstorming of ways that I can attack each one of them head on. So there's always something for me. Um, something always happens to me after coming back from vacation and like really like a relaxing and refreshing and resetting vacation that just makes me want to get back home and jump straight in and one of those things that I wanted to get back home and jump straight into was posting more on YouTube because I've been gone for four months and I mean if you ask me you're watching this video right now so this is one of the things that I've attacked head first um, I've jumped in there and I'm chilling with you guys and we're making dinner and we're gonna have a pretty good time in the next three minutes or so I would like to talk more with y'all about routines and kind of how I formulate them and how they work for me and why they work for me but one thing that I've done in short is identify what makes me feel good and what kind of patches up or fixes whenever I have something wrong and one of those things is cooking and cleaning up and just seeing the reaction on people's faces whenever they eat the food that I've poured love into and when they come into my home and they enjoy you know the space that I've curated and that I've cleaned and that I've also put love into we all know that self-care is also a huge part of making us women and even some of the men feel better a lot of the times but one thing that I've identified also is that cold showers literally take my mood from like wherever it is to like five times better <laughs> down after dinner is easily my favorite part of the day it's the time that I have to create a boundary between everything that happened in the day to the way that I'm going to spend my night so this normally looks like spending time with my partner catching up on some content that I've missed during the week or during the day it could look like chit-chatting with one of my girlfriends or watching something on tv um, catching up on Netflix talking with my parents hanging with my brother or just spending some me time um, just kind of chillaxing like I'm doing now. It only took me 37 years to hop on the TikTok trend. <laughs> so I definitely have been on TikTok. So I do spend uh, quite a bit of time these days um, filming for TikTok and editing videos as well. And I love it. Reading is one of those things that I've always enjoyed, but it's also something that's become more of a luxury the older that I get. Nonetheless, I try to keep it up. My friends and family will tell you like this girl always has a book. She's always reading something. It's always something crazy and new. But I actually saw a TED talk on YouTube a while ago and also this video that was kind of related to psychology that talked about how reading increases your brain connectivity and it's been shown to enhance your confidence, decision making, empathy, you know, prevents depression, can relieve stress and all of those things. This particular book might be a little overstimulating right before bed, but I cannot help it. It's so good. I'm eager to finish it. And sometimes I just can't put it down. That happens to the best of us. I hope you guys enjoyed my night routine. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.